I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, audience. What the story, Wolverine? Hey everybody, this is Tony Wiseau here, also known as 22 Tiger Dude here, and I am here to review The Disaster Artist. So The Disaster Artist is directed by James Franco. It is written by the same people that wrote The Spectacular now, and I believe 500 Days of Summer, and the film stars James Franco, Dave Franco, Seth Rogen, Alison Brie, and many more talents that are sprinkled throughout this film. So The Disaster Artist tells the story of Greg Sestero who meets Tommy Wiseau and acting class they quickly become very good friends and they want to live the dream of making a movie so they all move to California when Tommy writes this movie known as The Room Tommy and Greg make this movie together however when they are filming this movie everything is not going as planned so the disaster artist I was easily excited for it is without a doubt one of my most anticipated movies of 2017 the room is a big guilty pleasure it is so bad that it is good it for sure earns its title disaster piece and when I heard that there was gonna be a movie about basically how the room was made I was automatically excited for it and it even makes me more excited knowing that James Franco is gonna direct this film because I know James Franco has said himself that he actually really, really admires The Room, and he's actually pretty good buddies with Tommy Wiseau, for what I know. And it is from A24, who I'll admit, is a very hit and miss studio. They can have their hits, and they can have their misses, but man, when they have their hit, they really, really hit. And where does Disaster Artist stand for me? Without a doubt, the Disaster Artist is a hit from A24. In fact, it's also one of the best movies I've seen from 2017. First, I want to talk about James Franco as Tommy Wiseau. Wow, James Franco really captured the mannerisms of Tommy Wiseau perfectly. From how he talked, from how he walks, from how he laughs, just from everything regarding Tommy Wiseau. James Franco did an absolutely awesome job and I would actually love to see him get an Oscar nomination because I think it would be very interesting to see him get an Oscar nom regarding this role. Could it happen? I don't know, but if it does happen, I will be happy because he truly is amazing. He nails it when it comes to the comedic bits, like the comedic timing regarding Tommy Wiseau is spot on. And while yes, there are a lot of funny moments regarding Tommy Wiseau, it's also very heartwarming and kind of heartbreaking when you really look at it. James Franco makes a smart choice to not make Tommy Wiseau look like really a joke because I feel like if anyone else took on this project, Tommy Wiseau would probably be treated as a joke, but because James Franco really does admire the room and really does respect, he's even said publicly how he respects Tommy Wiseau, Tommy Wiseau feels like a real, genuine human being because you could tell all this guy wants to do is follow his dream and making this movie and he really didn't care what anyone else thought, he just wanted to follow his vision. This Despite the chaos that does go behind the scenes, he really did at the end of the day want to make this movie happen. And the fact that he got to make this happen along with Greg Sestero, his best buddy and everyone else, truly is something to really admire. You know, there are people in Hollywood, actors, directors, anyone that are fighting to work in this business and it's very hard. It takes a lot of time for some people to make it, but the fact that these guys actually got to do it is really really cool. Dave Franco too is fantastic. Like you would have never thought when you were looking back, hey, if they ever make a movie about the making of The Room, who would be these two people? You never would have thought in a million years James Franco and Dave Franco would play these guys. And wow, I could not have thought of a better casting choice for these two. Dave Franco is truly just 
magnificent as Greg Sestero. And you do see things from Greg Sestero's point of view, which makes sense because this is based off of a book, which I have not read, but I know that the author is Greg Sestero and it's everything from his point of view. So it was cool to see everything from his point of view from when he meets Tommy Wiseau to when he's moving to California with Tommy Wiseau to making this movie. It was just very cool. He really made you feel for his character and once you see this movie, you'll understand why. And just the dyna dynamic between Tommy Wiseau and Greg Sestero was definitely very strong. I thought their dynamic was just very engaging and I truly was just so invested in what was happening. Seth Rogen is also really great here. His role isn't as big as per se James Franco and Dave Franco, the, the Franco brothers, but Seth Rogen is really good in this film. I really enjoyed him and it is kind of interesting to see him take a break from playing that stoner guy. I'm surprised he didn't make at least a weed joke in this film, but it was cool to see him play a rather different role, and I thought he did a very good job here. Alison Brie is also very good as Greg Sestero's love interest, and I did enjoy following their relationship. I thought the relationship was definitely very well done, and I thought Dave Franco and Alison Brie, considering they are actually together in real life, they did share some very nice chemistry on screen, and Alison Brie, I just think she's wonderful, so it is nice to see her in something like this. I mean, she worked with Dave Franco in The Little Hours, a movie about crazy nuns, and then to see her in another film with him in this is uh, definitely very interesting. 2017 was definitely a very interesting year for both Dave Franco and Alison Brie as far as being in a movie together. As far as the rest of the performances go, I think it would be a spoiler, even though I'm sure some of you are aware of who else is in this film. I don't really want to spoil it, but let's just say that the other actors that you see play these other characters that you saw in the room, they did a really, really great job. Like seriously, the casting choices for all of these characters you did see in the movie The Room were so freaking Perfect. The humor in general, not just from Tommy Wiseau, but just from anything else that happens in this film, it is truly hilarious. There's not really a, a single moment where I could recall the humor felt flat or, oh, that fell out of place. I actually thought the humor 100% actually worked. However, when the film does focus on being more serious and being more heartfelt, it absolutely nails that, especially when you do get to that ending, the ending of The Disaster Artist really is something so moving. The screenplay in this film is absolutely great. Nothing about it felt forced to me, to be honest. I always thought the script was very natural. It is written by the same guys that wrote The Spectacular Now and 500 Days of Summer, two phenomenal movies in my opinion. So it makes sense why I think The Disaster Artist is something that I love so much because the screenplay is just so, so fantastic. Seriously, I love the dialogue. I love the interactions with not just Greg and Tommy, but all the other characters. I shouldn't say characters, but these real life people, especially the crew helping Tommy and Greg make this movie. And I have to mention it too, but James Franco really did such a beautiful job directing this film. It must be interesting for these guys to be directed by James Franco as Tommy was so like, can you just imagine James Franco dressed up as Tommy Wiseau and uh, directing people. I can imagine that being very interesting, but he did a great, great job directing this film. James Franco really was the right choice to direct this. You really do feel his passion. You really do feel the care. You could tell he really was very passionate about this project, and I'm so glad that he did take on this project, not only from uh, starring in it, but also just directing it. There were a lot of really uh, just very um, impressive shots throughout the Disaster Artist. The cinematography too, I should say, does look very, very good. Something else I loved about the Disaster Artist are the scenes when these actors actually recreate the scenes from the room. When you get to the end credits in particular, there are so many side-by-side -side, um, comparisons. Like the left screen will be actual scenes from the room, and then the right screen will 
will actually be the scenes that the actors in this film actually recreate. And man, it is amazing how accurate the acting is when you compare that to the room. They all did a very good job of actually recreating the room scenes and that was such a delight to watch. Now, when it comes to the disaster artist regarding flaws, there's not a whole lot of it. All I'll say is, I think regarding certain side real life people from the room, I do think that it would have been cool to get maybe a couple of more scenes regarding some of these people. I think it would have been cool to get to know them a little bit more and the movie doesn't really do much with them. So I think at least two or three more scenes at best could have been nice. And I actually did look up what was maybe missing from the film because I did watch the film going, there's a couple of stuff, not a whole lot, but I did watch it going, a couple of things do feel like they're missing in terms of what needs to be in the filmmaking process. And I wish a couple of those things could have maybe been in the film. Overall, I think The Disaster Artist is a truly fantastic movie. It is very funny. It's one of the funniest films of the year without a doubt, but it's also strangely inspiring. It's heartfelt and it just makes me respect Tommy Wiseau even more as a person. I love that James Franco treated him more as a human being rather than a joke. The dynamic with Tommy and Greg Sestero was great. James Franco and Dave Franco really did play off with each other so strongly. The performances from Seth Rogen and everyone else were really great. I did love of all the random cameos that we did get in this film. It was really cool to get some of these cameos. Cinematography is great. Direction is great. The screenplay is absolutely fantastic. I think it's one of the best screenplays of the year. And as far as showing us what happened during the filmmaking of The Room, while I do think a couple of more things could have been added in there, as a whole, I truly was so happy with what I saw. I'm going to give The Disaster Artist four out of four stars. I was three and a half out of four stars for a while, but honestly, the more I thought about this movie, the more I was like, you know what? I can do it. I'm, I'm very happy giving it four out of four stars. So everybody in the comments down below, let me know, what did you think about the Disaster Artist? Are you a fan of The Room? I would be very, very interested to in know. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> this is 22 Tiger Dude here. And don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power. What the story?